Hello there, my name is Joshua DD9000 and uh, welcome to another review. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Bill, the Tank Engine Twin from the Hornby Thomas and Friends range. So without further ado, let us begin. So at first glance at the uh, Hornby Bill, we can clearly see that in comparison to its Bachmann counterpart, as you can see in this picture, uh, Hornby did not put as nearly as much effort into their locomotive as Bachmann did. And I sort of have a theory for this. Engines such like Thomas, Henry, and Gordon are based off uh, previous locomotives that Hornby had recently produced. Well. Bill and Toby and Percy, they were um, made completely out of scratch. And uh, it would have cost Hornby too much money to really put a lot of detail into the locomotive. So they basically had to, you know, get, reach the, I sort of just meet the bare minimum when it came to detail. And there actually are some issues with this Bill, such as running board is not painted. Um, back of the cab ain't painted, the face is completely identical, the lettering is not that well painted. I mean, yellow on top of yellow is never really a good choice of color, but it's kind of difficult to see unless you look really closely. And probably the biggest flaw for this locomotive would be the whistle. There is no whistle. And that's a big issue. The main reason why I sort of decided to get this locomotive was because I, well first of all, you already know this already, but I am a huge Hornby fan. It's rare and it's been discontinued for a long time. And also I remember as a kid I would watch people like Miss Oliver and Blossom sort of do his reviews of, you know, rare discontinued Hornby locomotives because back in that time, Bachman hadn't made Bill and Ben. And it just sort of grew on me, and I always wanted to know to be like to own one for myself. And I finally do. I've had this bill for um, about a few weeks now. I would have done a review on it sooner, but I've sort of been having a few um, issues with eBay recently. I also bought Ben, but instead they sent me another bill, so I decided to sell it again um, by myself so I can make a profit for it by myself. I also sold my uh, Hornby Thomas, but uh, fear not, um, it is Thomas after all, you know, so very easy to replace. It's not like, you know, I sold my Hornby Duck, because that would definitely be harder to get a new one of. So yeah, there's really not too much I can say in terms of detail about this locomotive. I mean, Hornby just... Yeah, they just didn't put that much effort, and I think that's kind of the reason why it'll cease to exist as of next year. Because, I mean, they don't always put a lot of effort. I mean, they are more detailed, but some of them not so much. So, yeah. Now, when it came to the performance, I, um... Well, performance, it performed pretty well. But I do remember watching other people do reviews of their Hornby Bill and Ben locomotives, and I noticed how the two front wheels would sort of bounce up like this. There were a couple times where, it like, if it went really fast around a sharp curve, it would sometimes derail, and uh, yeah, it would sometimes derail, and that would sort of make things difficult. And you can clearly see in some of this footage how. Like, if you look really closely at the footage, you'll notice how the wheels do lift up to some extent. So, just a mind of thought. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I'm definitely, this is definitely a new style of review I'm doing. Definitely one that doesn't take as much time to make, nor as much effort. So, yeah. Do I recommend this item? Well, Bachman Bill are better. Bachman Bill and Ben are better. But, honestly, if you like the Hornby one, I say get it. But, do keep in mind, it will be pretty pricey. Because this one cost me about $80. So, just very important to keep that in mind. 
So um, that basically concludes this review. So um, this is Joshua DD9000 signing off, saying goodbye, and as always, thank you for watching.